Also got my boy Dylan Weeks here. Dylan, say hi. What's up? <laughs> and we thought of this idea. Well, I guess Dylan came up with this idea because we usually call each other on the phones and, and talk about what we enjoy, which is tech and cell phones and video games and PCs and everything like that. And he was like, let's start a podcast. So here we are, episode one. Well, Really, it was your idea, but <laughs> I just said, let's just do it already instead of talk about it every day. Yeah, so we are here, and and um, we want to share with the world our opinions on, on everything technology-related and really everything else, because I'm sure we're going to get off topic and talk about a bunch of different things. So, yeah, um, I guess we'll plug our, our YouTube and Instagram real quick. So our Instagram is the underscore techcast. So if you enjoy it, give us a follow. We'll be posting videos and, and pictures and things like that of all the different new stuff that's coming out. And then what's our YouTube, Dylan? It's going to be uh, techcast. Uh, email will be the techcast2019 at Gmail. Yes. Any, any queries or anything like that? Yeah. All right, awesome. So without and we will be opening a Discord too. Uh, <laughs> yes, if anybody wants to join a Discord and and add anything to all the discussions we have, so we have more ideas to talk about, that'd be that'd be fantastic. Yeah. So if you're just listening to this on um, Spotify or SoundCloud or watching on YouTube, um, just DM us on Instagram and we'll make a Twitter, but it'd probably be easier to just DM our Instagram account and let us know that you want to be on the discord. Or if you know us personally, obviously just text us and we can talk about things on there and have some guests on the, on the podcast and, and then we'll be good. So without further ado, let's get into it. As Allie would say, <laughs> um, so I think what we want to talk about first was um, the Pixel, right? Yeah, Pixel. And, what, and the Pixel lights coming out, which I don't know how I feel about those, but Pixel Four, I have been waiting, <laughs> waiting. So well, so I switched to the Pixel Three XL about a year ago, and I had an Pixel iPhone. Two. Pixel Two. Sorry, Pixel. No. Oh yeah, it was a Pixel Two. <laughs> so Pixel <laughs> Two XL about a year ago. And for everybody listening, obviously, Dylan already knows this. I had an iPhone, uh, I guess, forever, since my sophomore year of high school, I think. And I just got sick of the same thing. Every single update, every single phone, um, with slight subtle changes that maybe an average person would enjoy. Like, oh, we made the camera a little bit better. Oh, we made... Um, <laughs> our apps look nicer on your screen, uh, operating system, blah, blah, it's blah. All cosmetic, you know? Yeah. So I was like, all right, screw it. I'll be one of the first people out of my friend group to go Android. Cause I feel like there will be a shift eventually with everybody, more people switching, especially around our age that understand what's going on. But yep. I've had the Not pixel two. Much. Yeah. I've had the pixel two XL for about a year. And I'm going to be honest, I love it. The only thing I wish they had that and that iOS has is just the messaging. They need to fix that. Specifically group messaging and yeah. video files and pictures and things like that. Yeah. I mean, I do love... I'm not gonna lie, I, I love iPhone. It's great. It's easy to use. It's clean. But like you said earlier, I'm just waiting for something different. You know, something, a change. Yeah, I think we're all operating system, and I don't know, man. It's it's not that I don't like iPhone. I'm just bored of it. I'm not. I'm just don't want to be a part of the, well, the people who just boring. say they get the new iPhone every year. Yeah, it gets boring when it's the same thing every single every single year. Okay, yeah, you take away the home button. That's cool. It's a full uh, 
touchscreen display. Okay, well, Android, Samsung was doing that like two years before you were doing that. and But people freak out. I don't understand it. Uh, I, yeah, <laughs> if iPhone does it, then it's relevant. But yeah. It like who, make... who, who was the biggest name that did it first? But the OnePlus 6? Yeah, T? I think it was. They did the, the I thumbprint think it was OnePlus. The, the screen. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I think what people don't realize, and a lot of people our age don't realize, is there's so much good cell phone companies out there, not just Apple, um, which I guess credit to Apple with all their marketing and um, things like that. They did brainwash a lot of people into thinking that they're the only company out there for a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they, they think that they're, they're trying to make uh, Android seem like it's it's not good quality. Like just because Android pictures to iPhone or iPhone to Android, the pictures don't look good. If you take a picture on an Android, like you like your phone, the mm -hmm. Pixel Two was the best camera out, and mm -hmm. and anybody who had iPhone, they don't believe that because if you were to send a picture from the Pixel to the iPhone, it wouldn't look the same from Android to to iMessage, you know. So. Yeah, so, I mean, I think with this year, with the Pixel 4 and um, the Galaxy that just came out, I mean, dude, that display, and I was looking at MKBHD's videos on it and his pictures that he has of that display, it looks ridiculous. It looks really clean. <laughs> really clean. It looks so good. So I'm looking at the... <laughs> uh, kind of the overview on the website on, on the galaxy uh s10 so it says it has a new dynamic oled infinity o panel with a punch hole style notch which i like i like that punch hole look yeah i mean it takes away the entire massive notch that every other phone has which this year we're i mean i doubt any other new phone is going to have a notch anymore i can't imagine mm -hmm. that I can I could probably imagine. I could see Apple doing it because they're lazy in their product development now. They'll probably keep the notch for another year and say, "Well, our users don't care about the notch." But I'm excited for the Pixel Four, especially if the Galaxy S10 looks like this. And I know you don't like the Infinity uh, screen on the bigger sizes, but why don't you like the Infinity screen? Ah. Uh... I don't know. My mom has one. It, I mean, her phone is old as hell, but when she got it, I just didn't even, it doesn't turn me on, man, because that curve, you just look <laughs> at it from the side, it catches lint. It, like you couldn't get a good screen protector for it. I know they make them now, these ones specifically, but yeah, I just don't like the rounded edge. I like I, the bezel for me, just even if it's a small bezel, is, it makes the screen look cleaner to me, I like a flat screen. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I mean, I guess I haven't had a phone that has an infinity screen before, so I wouldn't know. But, I mean, I think what I would like better, and I'm looking at my Pixel 2 right now, is just something that... <sighs> I like bezel-less from top to bottom. Side to side, I don't care about. I'd rather have the top to bottom um, no bezel-less. forehead. Yeah, because uh, yeah. I'm looking at her, my phone right now, and the bezels on the top and the bottom of the Pixel 2 XL are actually, I mean, it's pretty big. It takes up a lot of space, and I know it has the two, like, really big speakers, so they need room for that, but um, I could do without them. But I really do like uh, on the Pixel phone is the fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone. Mm-hmm. It Which takes... I heard they're from the rumors I heard about the Pixel Four is they're gonna keep that this year. They're not gonna do. Good. I don't know. It's just the rumors I read. Nobody really knows, but I would I wouldn't mind it on the back. I, the screen kind of scares me underneath the screen. I think, dude. Honestly, I'd rather have a. I'd rather have a touch fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone where it's not obviously you're not taking away anything from the front of the phone than Face ID. Mm-hmm. And it's so Which fast, still, like they, literally one, that. yeah, one little tap and my phone's open and it's good. I don't have to mess with holding, I, I, you know, you don't have to hold your phone up to your face, but still, I don't think it's worth it. This is, it's so much easier to just have a fingerprint sensor. It's not that big of a deal if it doesn't have face mm -hmm. ID, 
which I don't know. Oh, we'll see what Google does. They'll keep it, I think. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do for their face camera. They keep it. I wouldn't mind a no front face camera because I'm not <laughs> not selfie induced. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't mind it, but everybody in the entire world would. I guess selfie induced. Gotta have that front face camera. Everybody's like, oh, I got. Dude, and I'm looking at this, and it says storage and RAM options now go as high as 512 gigs and 12 gigs of RAM. Which is useless. 12 gigs of RAM for a phone? (laughs) What the hell are you going to do with that? Dude, but still, 512 gigs of storage is kind of ridiculous. So Yes, you. I'd have 64 in my iPhone. I don't think I've done half of it. Yeah, I have 64 on this one, too and i don't take pictures though yeah see i take pictures i think mine's starting to fill up but the good thing about the google phone is it can go straight to your google like photos account and it's yeah, unlimited nice. storage so it's yeah, all I, good iCloud. iCloud. i get icloud notifications every single day icloud storage full I, it's like i don't care man <laughs> dude i don't trust icloud what if you took a picture of something that you didn't want the <laughs> what every single device that well, you're connected that to <laughs> Didn't that happen to like some of the big name <laughs> actresses and stuff? Like somebody hacked yes. into iCloud and started dropping all their nudes and shit? Dude, oh, that yes. That. That's the thing. You, you can say that. Who cares? People, <laughs> it was so easy for people to hack into people's iClouds and steal all of their nudes. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was sketchy. So, really no, sketchy. dude, I'm not saying I'd take a bunch of those pictures, everybody, but just for <laughs> privacy reasons, I don't trust iCloud. <laughs> and especially since Apple admitted to literally draining your battery on your old phone, so you had to buy a new one. That's messed up. <laughs> I don't understand that. It was a matter of time, dude. Everybody talked about it, but it d- took the initiative to actually research to see. They admitted it too, and people are just like, "Oh, oh, oh that's funny." Damn, Good old iPhone. I guess I'll still buy the new phone. <laughs> Damn, son, where'd you find this? Oh no. So listen. Whatever. I I feel like I'm off the bandwagon. There's only those few certain times like every few months where I'm I'll text all you guys that have iPhones and my text won't get there until like two hours later. Or if somebody sends a video, it's all blurry. Like any other app we use, if we use Discord or even Facebook Messenger or, or any other messaging app, is fine. Which but I would just, like to switch. I've tried to switch over to Discord. Yeah. And nobody, nobody, you know, does it. I'm like, dude, let's just switch. Well, the <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> I feel like, it. dude, I feel like everywhere else in the world, they're, they use messaging apps and not just iMessage. Like WhatsApp is one of the biggest messaging apps in the entire world over iMessage, I think. And that's just, I don't know if it's just an American thing. It seems like it because I have friends, um, from my previous job that have like family overseas and stuff. And um, maybe it's just because Androids are more prevalent uh, in Europe and Asia and in the Middle East and things like that. But like WhatsApp and and all of that works just fine. It's just Apple has their operating system and it's just, they're in their own bubble. So what kind of phone does your uh, sister have over there in korea she has the galaxy s9 note okay so yeah curious to see. so she used that a... but yeah we use a messaging app to talk to her it's like a it's just a korean messaging app it's called like cat cow talk um but yeah she switched dude no but she said nobody has iphones there also that's, see, they're that's like the thing. also it's like two thousand dollars for an iphone there i think i could be wrong guys just bear with me Two thousand dollars for that Samsung Fold, <laughs> dude. We can talk about that. Actually, yes, we need to talk about that. Um, actually, so I, I don't know who the hell is gonna buy that phone. It's just gonna be a flexors, f- bro. Flexors. <laughs> who wants to flex on their friends? Well, it's gonna be. It's gonna be probably like a bunch of sixteen-year-old kids that ask their rich parents for the Fold. Yes, and they're just gonna go to their. Uh, freshman homeroom flexing on everybody, all they, the fifteen they can't year olds. Their pocket, dude. They're gonna have to hold it, so everybody's gonna have to. <laughs> Wants to put a brick in their pocket? You can't sit down, 
dude i swear to god like imagine putting that phone in your pocket and even just walking around it's too big oh. dude i don't <laughs> can't wear jeans ever so you're spending two thousand dollars so i wish this had a better picture i'll look it up but um the front of that screen looks so bad and small it's a four inch display isn't it yeah let's let's see if we got any images <laughs> what are you here. gonna and it's skinny it's like a really skinny tall four inch display it's annoying where is it what is it, it? it makes me sick man honestly it's just straight flex that's all it is dude it's gotta be just a flex all right let's go to the official samsung it's like the site. airpods dude like d people just buy airpods just because it was made by apple and they were 250 dollars what 300 dollars dude that's just to a... say that that's it that's all they i have airpods what do you have it's like dude i don't i don't care <laughs> that's what i'm talking about dude first of all i don't understand anybody that buys airpods because you're literally you're not even buying something that the company is known for why don't wouldn't you just buy bose pods for literally the same price but it's bose that's what they do they make headphones that sound good look at that and I Dude. know you can't. I know you can't see it yet because you're kind of behind. But oh no, I'm watching the video right now. Oh good, I can see it. That I pause it on, and for the people that are going to be listening, I pause it on this little ass screen that they're going to have when your when your phone is folded, not unfolded. I don't know who's ever going to use that tiny ass screen. That makes no sense to me. That's it right there. The phone just just to dial numbers. That's it, dude. Like and you got to open up to your tablet to text. Dude, I don't want to. I mean, it looks like a nice tablet, but I don't know, man. I don't know I why don't know anybody. I the durability of a folding screen either yet. It's too new. Yeah, it's too new. And I don't know I if like they. Start, those pixelations in there is just going to get all messed up, in my opinion. I don't know. They've obviously been testing it, but still, folding up, phone up. Do you know people who get those are just going to keep opening and closing it? That's going to be the thing. Dude, I actually feel embarrassed walking around with that phone. Like, I feel like yeah. people would be like, look at this idiot that spent $2,000 on this damn phone. And I'm like sitting there, I take my phone out of my pocket and open it up in front of everybody. On purpose? To, just to check it, <laughs> to see if it works? Just get a text message, just open it up and have to set it on a table to text. Because I can't just use like one hand. I have to type like a keyboard. Yeah, you gotta pull out one of those Bluetooth keyboards. <laughs> connect it i didn't oh see that like i don't know i mean we'll see i think the huawei one looks better we can look Hold at that one. one dude i don't want to spell huawei on stream <laughs> you can do it dude how do i spell that it's right there h-u-a-w-e-i it's right there. It's right there on the page you're on, dude. You don't have to type it in. Shut up. I want to see the real one. <laughs> Do they have it on their website? I don't, dude. These folding phones, man. <sighs> I really hope. Also on the Google thing, I don't know why they didn't wait to just drop the Google Pixel 4 and then, and then do a mid-range. I don't know why they're doing a light version of the Pixel 3s. Weren't they... Wasn't Pixel 2 more popular than the Pixel 3? Yeah. I'm sorry. What did you say? I was looking at the Huawei phone. <laughs> about the, the display? No. Uh, what are we talking about now? The, the Huawei or... I was well, talking about the Pixel. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking about the Pixel. I was just scrolling through the Huawei stuff. Oh. I'm saying... I don't know why they're, they're trying to drop a mid-range light version of pixel 3 when they should just wait and do the pixel 4 and Dude. then drop a light because wasn't the pixel not even i feel like it wasn't that popular and it, it got a lot of backlash because of the notch it didn't seem as popular as the pixel 2 for sure but i don't know i think the pixel 2 was so popular just because people like the pixel 1 and then they were comfortable having the pixel 2 for two years i feel like and there and it's i think the 3 was just more of that skip the generation kind of thing like it seems like a lot of phones um kind of between those those generations where people buy a lot of them and they know that they buy a lot they don't put enough 
they don't put a lot of effort into that next year because they know that sales might be down. And I think Apple used to do it with like their their uh, like when they came out with the S's, like all of those back in the day, like the 4S and the 5S, and there were just some tweaks here and there that to make some people buy the phone. That yeah. was just before the big the big one. So they re- at least to me it seems like phone companies are saying, okay, especially now these days where you're almost forced to come out with a new phone every year. It's like, okay, we'll come out with big ones every other year. And then in the middle of that, we're going to come out with the light versions, but to Google's defense, they're coming out with the light versions apparently early this year and then coming out with the four later this year. So who knows? I mean, maybe they think people will buy it. I just feel like, well, well, the only way they can do a light version, is a plastic back, right? Yeah. And then what? The, the, I don't, a less quality screen. I don't know how you do. They I already mean, only put four four gigabytes of RAM. Maybe it's which uh, was a big thing. I haven't looked. I haven't seen any research on it. Is, I mean, did they confirm it? Are there going to be different well, sizes? You just got to look at the Pixel Three. And then take some stuff away. Like they, they're not going to put Snapdragon eight fifty five. Wait, is That's the light the supposed to come out earlier than the Pixel four? Yes, they said somewhere in early uh, two thousand nineteen they're going to do a conference or something. Mm. New made by Google smartphones pass through FCC like likely Pixel three light and Pixel three XL light. Yeah, I don't know how I feel Reported about that. Reported model numbers, blah blah blah. Yeah, it looks like a plastic bag, bezels all everywhere. It looks like a headphone jack. These are all just leaked photos, guys, and the people that are listening. It doesn't look like anything. I don't know. We'll see. It will be a dumbed-down version of the Pixel 3. It'll be like those um, the colored iPhones that they that they used to have, like it'll the C. Like, it, yeah, it'll be like uh, less quality pa- uh, back of the phone, a smaller battery, yeah. Uh, probably they'll stick with the four gigabytes of RAM because if that, then what's the point? Uh, thirty-two gigabyte or thirty-two to sixty-four gigabytes of store, and then like uh, whatever the the smaller version, the the older version of the Snapdragon, because they're on eight fifty-five, I think, right? They can mm-hmm. a good processor in there. Yeah. I don't know, dude. If if you're broke and you want a Pixel, then <laughs> go ahead. But I'm not. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm not even interested really anymore. No. Well, especially you, you know, now we know what it is. It's like, what's the point when Whoops. if you're broke then cool, but no, no, well, save up, the light version. it's like, why would anybody get the light version for, of anything? It doesn't make any sense. Just wait. Another because they six want a new months. phone, want a new phone and you want it to say you have a brand name. I guess. I mean, honestly, dude, the way my Pixel 2 has been performing and a lot of people on Reddit that, that I've been reading have been kind of disappointed in the software updates lately, but I've been, my phone's been working really well. I mean, there was, there have been some times where if I'm scrolling through my apps um, on my home screen, just left and right, then it, it'll be slow. But a lot of times what I do is I have YouTube up. And I'm like listening to the Joe Rogan podcast, shouts out, or uh, shouts out. <laughs> or Legend. hopefully re-listening to our podcast so we can get better for the next one. But um, when I have YouTube up and I'm trying to do something else in the other apps, after I get all done with all of that, without closing on my apps, it'll, it'll run a little slow, opening stuff and, and um, swiping through things, but... That seems to be the only thing that that's an issue with my phone, and I've had it for a year. Uh, and I feel like it could go for another. I mean, I could keep this phone for another few years, I think, and it would stay. I mean, because this well, camera's take care of it, yeah. Well, well, this camera is ridiculous, dude. Like, it's the best camera I've ever seen on a phone, and everybody always makes fun of me for it. Especially like people that don't know that have iPhones. I'm like, look at this camera. They're like, ugh. What are you talking about? The iPhone is the best camera. And everybody that has an iPhone talks like that. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I have an iPhone. Mm. But yeah, man, the camera. 
They'd be like, yeah, man. My camera's pretty good. Nothing like that Pixel. Anyways. I'm excited for the Pixel 4. I'm definitely going to buy it. I yes. think. <laughs> I defi- yeah, I'm definitely going to buy it, I think. Definitely, um, I think. You're about a 99.0%, and, but that percent still pretty strong. Well, I'm going to be honest. I think the... Uh, I'm actually excited for uh, to see what Apple's gonna do this year. Um, just compared to everything, it's like how are when, they gonna top what they already did? You know, yeah, do well, hundred dollars uh, more expensive. Yeah, I mean, what I think about though is the sand the S tens, dude. The Samsung S Galaxy S tens look really, really good. Um, like I would buy one. They look good. The thing about me, and I just don't like that Infinity Edge, huh? It's not that I don't like it or like it. I think I I wouldn't have an issue with it like you would. Um, I don't I don't know. I think it looks so good. And there's a picture I can bring it up that uh, MKBHD posted, and I sent it to you that um let's see i don't know mkbhd makes the change my mind where is it at where is it? like like look at this dude it looks so good that pic um, for the people that are listening is a picture of the s10 the smallest version with the bezel still not the infinity edge and it looks like the cleanest display i've ever seen See, I like that. I don't. That looks really good. <laughs> that looks and so it's neat how they how they've been doing the backgrounds too to kind of hide the the punch out. Which, yeah, it looks kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool, dude. It's and the thing of like I'm looking at my phone and comparing it to that. That's what I like, dude. The bezels on the top and bottom are so small on that phone compared to my. They're Pixel even too. with the ones on the sides, almost yeah. like yeah. a nice, perfect rectangle all the way around. Yeah. And I would get that phone. If the Pixel looked like that, the Pixel 4, that I'd be all in, dude. And if they had a, a plus version of it, which hopefully Pixel does that, I think I don't think they they'll go it. Infinity Edge. No, I, if they do that, I'm going to be really mad about it. Well, that's been Samsung's whole thing, dude, for a long time. Like, remember, they had those Infinity Edges. Um, that's what I'm saying. My mom has the old one, like, three years ago. It still worked out. Yeah, what, yeah, what were those Edge. called? What were those called? The older ones. God, Ugh. I can't think about it. Dude. It's like this. Oh, it's the Edge, the Samsung Galaxy like S. Because my old work phone was the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, oh, and <laughs> I didn't like it, dude. I don't know what it. I don't. I think I just. It was my first Android in a long time, and I must have messed it up. And I also use it for work, like no personal stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but damn, dude, that display looks so good. I want to go mess around with one. Yeah, my uh, a buddy at work's getting one. He he got the the uh, S10, and then his wife got the S10 Plus. So I'm definitely gonna check it out when he gets to work tomorrow, rather. Yeah, dude. Like all this stuff looks. So See, good. if you look directly at it, you you don't notice the infinity yet when you. If you look at it from the side, I hate. I don't like that look, man. I don't like the rounded, the rounded <laughs> glass screen. It bothers me, dude. See, like that is... picture that you pulled up. Oh God, this is such a don't like that. I'm plugging MKBHD right here, but I think the display looks good, dude. I would buy this if I was a Samsung fan instantly, and I like Samsung. I have nothing against them. I just had a bad experience with my S7. Yeah, that dude. The screens. Looking dead on for me. Looking dead on, it looks amazing. It looks clean. It looks like liquid, man. It, it looks good. Liquid. It, it, looks like, it doesn't. It, it looks like a okay. Instead of like a crusty <laughs> look, it looks like it has a nice like flat matte look screen, like crisp. Yeah. I know, dude. It's a good screen. So hopefully the display on the Pixel Four is good. Obviously, guys, if you couldn't tell, we're Pixel. We're Google fans. As of now, I haven't even gotten one, and I'm I'm a Google fan. I just can't wait, dude. I'm tired of waiting. I know. Sometimes 
Well, the thing about me with tech purchases is like, for some reason, it's usually spontaneous. Like, I didn't think I was going to buy this phone. And then. Yeah, you talked about it for a couple months and then you stopped and then you just got it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I just stopped. It's the same with uh, my PC, dude. I just went to the Micro Center. Shouts out to Micro Center in Texas. Um, And I was just looking around. I was like, you know what? I got some money saved up. I'm just going to buy my computer right now. And, but now it's like I have time and I know I'm going to get the Pixel 4 barring any issues with it, which I don't think there's going to be any issues. People were freaking about it, about freaking out about the Pixel 2 screen, blue screen yeah. issues. Yeah. And like, I, that's why I waited. First of all, I was like, okay, I'll just wait a little bit and see if, if anything's bad. Mm-hmm. And I don't really notice it on my phone. It's just if you're, literally turning it to almost like a point where you can't even look or read or see anything so i'm happy with it and i'm excited for all these new phones coming out i would buy a Huawei if i if the government trusted them yeah (laughs) (laughs) if i wasn't scared of people tracking but i mean it's i mean it's not like we're not being tracked now dude Alyssa and i were talking about um what were we talking about? I don't know. It was, I think we were talking about hot dogs or something, and a Nathan's hot dog ad popped up on my Instagram when I was just dude, scrolling through. Dude, that happens to me all the time. It and freaks like, out. Dude, it's funny because everybody knows that people are listening to us in our everyday <laughs> lives. Like, we say and some... it's norm. Dude, we say some, like, weird stuff, <laughs> is the way I'll put it. And it's like... Can, I don't know, man. I don't know. And it seems like nobody cares anymore that the government or whoever is just listening to our everyday conversations. Our cameras are probably on at all times. That would be an interesting sight <laughs> for them on their end. Oh, God. But <laughs> I'm just talking about real life, man. This is real life because usually I'm on my phone when I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> taking a number one or a number two. <laughs> uh, can't trust them. You know, the only thing I'm kind of nervous about when getting the the next Pixel is that they're going to be running the new uh, Android uh, OS. What is it? Pi? Is yeah. Yeah. It's going to be the new one, so there's probably going to be some, some bugs and tweaks with that to come when everybody starts using it. Yeah, but also a good thing that I've noticed with having an Android is, like, the they stay updated with all of the system updates and everything, and it's, like, mm-hmm. it's not a big deal. <laughs> like, iOS comes out, awesome. like, new mm-hmm. iOS one time a year. And everybody freaks out because they're like, oh, fu- oh my God, it's so great. And it's like, dude, Android what does. What you know about the Animojis? Yeah, dude, I was so Level disappointed because I wanted to buy the X, dude. I don't I don't know when the first one came out. It was a few years ago, right? And um, I was just like, dude, this is going to be so dope. It's going to be such a cool phone. And I was watching the keynote and they spent like 45 minutes on the Animojis. And I was like, yeah. dude, are you kidding me, Apple? You think people care about this? So, and it's funny because our, like, even Chad, shouts out to Chad, dude. Like, he <laughs> got it. Did. He got it. And then he sent us one an emoji and never sent another one ever again. And I was like, yep, that's exactly what everybody was going to do. They were going to get the phone on their, the first day they have it and send a, an an emoji to everybody. And that's not going to let them know they have yeah, it. Yeah. And that'll be the last time anybody ever, ever, ever uses it. <laughs> That is the truth, man. I think I think Blaine. Well, yeah, naturally she has it. She got the. She had the an emoji. I think she sent me a couple. Um, what the hell? My phone just opened up a Cam Newton video, <laughs> but um, a... um, yeah, dude, my mom just got the XR or whatever because you know she's a mom, so they don't care about technology, and the iPhones are simple to use. Yeah. Um. And she sent one an emoji the first day she got it, and that was it. So it's like people don't care about it, 
and you're you're well, gonna act, to flex it. You gotta flex it when yeah, you're you gotta it. flex the an emoji because the previous versions don't have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. We get it. You gotta flex with your AirPods. They're not even good quality. You just have them because they look cool in your ear. I guess. I don't know. It's, it's just Apple. It's that white Apple product. You got it. I just <laughs> always. Dude, I have Bose um, Bluetooth buds, and I always feel like a douche just walking around with them in. Even at work or anything, when I'm going to get water and I have one in my ear, I don't want to walk around with it. I have to take well, it out. Let's be honest, dude. People probably think you're poor. If it's not Apple, you're poor. You ain't yeah. got money. You're yeah. Bose? What Even though Bose? it's Bose, they're like, whoa, Bose? You have Bose? What's up with that, dude? I can't hear you, man. I'm too <laughs> tired. Can't hear you through my AirPods. My AirPods, dude. <laughs> I cannot wait until the. Maybe Matt, dude, seeing all the videos on social media, like, like you, people who never take pictures, all of a sudden they start taking pictures and they, sitting in their house, AirPods in. You're like, dude, you, are you even listening to anything? Do you even listen to music? Or you... No, dude. You know they're all listening to like. Nothing. Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> Nickel Oh no Shouts out Shouts out to what's what's the ba- the lead Chad the, Kroger Chad Kroger <laughs> Damn I'm excited to see the Pixel 4's color scheme. Yeah, same. Hopefully they have That'd some nice sick ones. Right yeah, the red and black. Dude, see yeah. how this one looks? I'll I'll play the video. Um, it's just for the people that are listening, it's a uh, video of the Pixel 4 concept, I'm assuming, obviously. Yeah, there's nobody knows. You really. sent me this, I think, a while ago. Uh, um, yeah, last year. This is such a good concept video, dude. I remember watching this. Just looks, it looks beautiful. Yeah, but the screen... It's not infinity. I really it shouldn't be, dude. It, it just goes line. to the edge. And stops. With like There's just the line, little... just the just the frame line and you know, no no real bezel. Yeah. So we'll see, man. Hopefully we get that hopefully we get that good good. And if you're listening and you have an iPhone, I don't I understand that it's hard to switch, but I promise you if you make that switch, you will regret it. Especially if you take a lot of pictures, all you Instagram models out there. Use a Google Pixel. <laughs> now we're over here selling for Google. I don't even have a Google phone and I <laughs> Well the thing is is like could the perform the performance of the actual phone be better? Yeah. Um could they put more RAM in the phone? Yeah. But, Which I think they're going to do six this year around. They're not going to go any lower than six. Yeah. Because we got to talk. They, you know, everybody talked about the four. Yeah. No, you know, unless you're really doing a lot of stuff on your phone, it's nice to know that you have six and you'll be okay rather than four. I don't know. It's a mental. Yeah. For all the mobile gamers out there playing Clash of Clans. I can't do. There are no good phone games. I I can't get turned on to any. Yeah, same. I don't even want to talk. We're not gonna disrespect video games talking about mobile gaming right now. But yeah. uh, <laughs> I'm I'm excited. The thing that is just crazy is this camera so good. Like you'll probably start taking more pictures with it. Honestly, I believe, or even your wife will. Um, because there's such a difference in how good the this thing looks, even just taking pictures of like food or anything. And I was driving with Alyssa, like uh, over Christmas, and we were taking pictures of Christmas lights with both of our phones. And hers looks so bad, and she has a X, the iPhone X, and yeah. and mine looks so crisp. And she's like, "Your phone's so much better. I want to get a Google phone." And she Uh-oh. was talking about. And she, you know what? I've been trying to convince her to get it. I don't know if she will, cause I think she'll miss iMessage and stuff. That's the only thing that's holding people back. I think it's and it takes them getting used to. It's friendly. 
Yeah, it's, it's a friendly fun. message system for sure. Yeah, and it's fast. Like it's a good messaging system. It's fast. Um, it, but the thing is, is that it's just its own bubble. You have to have an iPhone to do it or to use it. And then when you don't have an iPhone, it messes up everything. You feel left out for sure. I'm yeah. sure you feel left out when we're doing group messaging. I hate group messaging. I hate them. Dude, Let's just all go to Discord, please. That's the thing that people need to understand. It's like there's so many other messaging apps out there and programs that are better than iMessage, and people just don't want to use them. And it's crazy, yeah. dude, because I'm like, what if, is your... So you know, if you look at it, it's essentially the same thing. My iPhone, I got to click on the message and it opens my messages. If I want to go to Discord, all I do is click on Discord and it goes to the messages. It goes straight to it. It's the same thing. Yeah. So it's just, that's just how it is. And I've asked people, like, why wouldn't you switch? And they're like, oh, blue messages. And I'm like, all right. I can't deal oh. with this anymore. They say you're going to have a green bubble. It's like, dude. What is the difference, man? I can't wait to start texting Google. And you know, you remember you had, you, you had that problem with your text at the very beginning? Yeah. I found out that you just go to Apple now and you can you type in your it'll take your message list so that it clears mm. it up right away. I did a little research on that. Am I going to be effed? But yeah. You just, you, can, you just, uh, I forgot what the word is, but you just go. If you don't, it takes like a, a day or two like it did for you. Yeah. No big deal, but it is a big deal when you get a new phone and text messages <laughs> all messed up. And you're like, really, man? Right when I switch? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but discouraging. It is discouraging, <laughs> but you know what? I got through it, guys. First world problems. And now look at me. I'm chilling. Yeah. So, I'm yeah, it'll be good. So, listen, I think this is a good place to wrap up. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree with you. Yeah, we I had our first podcast. We're cell phone strictly, which is, which I'm a fan of. Um, yeah, I'm, I think, I'm always looking at new cell phones, man. Yeah, and I think as we progress in this podcast and we get more people's input, uh, we'll change topics or go through different topics throughout the podcast. So if you're listening, let us know what you want to hear. If you like uh, one podcast, one topic, and then we just switch off between topics each podcast or like a few different topics, video games, PC gaming, um, computer parts, or even cell phones or just events, a new, you know, yeah. tech events coming up. Yeah, or... literally anything, guys. Like we, we like anything – technology um you know video gaming vr blah 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 whatever you guys want to hear or talk about um let us know you know where to find us we said at the beginning of the podcast um dm us text us if you know us you know the whole deal and um you can be in our discord and we'll start having guests on the podcast and, and everything. So, um, and hopefully, hopefully in the in cleaned up with, with Twitch, uh, YouTube account will be fully set up and uh, this, our first podcast on there, we can share that around. I'm thinking maybe get a Facebook up. Yeah. We have an Instagram now. So maybe Twitter. I don't know. You're the Twitter. We'll see how everything goes, but we yeah. hope to have everybody yeah. on our social media. Yeah, we'll have a Twitter for sure, guys. So right now, um, we'll just repeat it for a second. Uh, Instagram is the underscore techcast. Uh, YouTube is just what, Dylan? It's just called uh, techcast. And then the, the email under it is going to be the techcast 2019 at yeah. Gmail for business inquiries and such. <laughs> yeah, so reach out to us. <laughs> um We'll we'll uh we'll be around. We're chilling. We'll we're figuring this out as well. So we'll take any criticism or new ideas from anybody that wants to be a part of it. We're definitely open. Uh, and with that being said, do you have anything else to say, Dylan? Do you have a a good? I'm excited. To, I'm excited to do the next one whenever. 
Yes, yes, yes. Um, we'll. If anybody listens, thanks, thanks for listening. Yeah, thanks, thanks for listening. We'll we'll definitely clean this up. Uh, like I said, the first one. So also, if you guys like to see video of like me talking, we'll figure out Dylan's as well. Um, just let me know. I can easily implement my webcam on here if you guys mm-hmm. like the watching aspect of it when we put it on the YouTube. Um, and we'll put more polls out to see what you guys like. But all right, we'll end it there. We appreciate um, you guys for giving us a listen. And we will uh, let you know when the next one's coming out.